Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to be actually undoing one of the mods I did in the past and doing something a little bit different. Since I'm at the back of the car, it's kind of apparent what I'm gonna be doing is swapping out this wing. Now, this is the CT Carbon Nismo style wing. I've gotta be honest, for the price, it's a pretty good wing. Unlike a lot of replicas out there, uh, it's not just fiberglass with a carbon fiber overlay. It's actually full carbon fiber. I also know that it's a pretty solid wing because I've had this car on track and so this wing's been up to about 130, 150 miles an hour. There's no vibrations and it didn't threaten to come off the car. So in that, it's a pretty solid wing. I don't have a lot of complaints with the wing itself. My issue with the wing is actually this little area right here, the center part with the brake light. It doesn't quite line up right. Like it kind of pops up in the front and even here, as you can see, it's not a perfect lineup and it bothers me, especially when I see it in the rear view mirror. And I've worked with CT Carbon. They've supposedly redesigned this two or three times. And they've sent me the updates and each time it's pretty much the exact same thing. I think they're lying to me. And so I don't particularly appreciate that, especially when they told me that this wing was based off of 3D scans they did of a stock Nismo wing. And if that was true, this would be a lot different. So I don't really like the lying when I get it from a company. So today I'm gonna to be swapping it out. I'm gonna be putting on the APR GT500 wing. Now, I do think this is actually a better upgrade, although I do like the look of this and it does kind of get rid of my goal of trying to make this car look like a Nismo clone. It's actually a functional wing. Of all the aftermarket wings out there for the GTR, the APR wing has actually been wind tunnel tested. So it actually becomes functional at about 45 miles an hour. It gives you good downforce on the rear tires to give you more traction. And then also disrupts any of the turbulent air coming off the back of it. So it smooths it out, basically helps with the harmonics of the car. So it's actually a functional, use, useful wing. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. However, two things before we get started. One, if you do wanna see more automotive, particularly GTR, and as you know, I do have an S14, Mike's S14 on the channel, go ahead and hit the subscription button so you don't miss any of that content. And two, if you'd like to support the channel, I do have the JD Archer shop. If you go to jdarcher.bigcartel.com, you can see a limited selection of t-shirts I've designed that are for sale. However, if you also want, I do have an Etsy store, which will have all of my designs on it. Uh, the reason why I have two stores is GT, uh, the, sorry, the Big Cartel lets me host for free. I get to keep all the profits. Etsy does take a bigger cut, but Etsy also lets me host all of my products where Big Cartel only lets me host five. So whichever one you prefer to go through or you feel more comfortable with, like I said, anything you buy will support the channel and future modifications and maybe even future cars. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and swap out this wing. So I did use a pretty good 3M tape, so it doesn't really want to come off too easily. There we go. Okay. I already disconnected the wire. I just forgot to film it, so I can just feed this right on through. One part off. Now, for those of you that haven't seen the video when I did the install on this, uh, there's no real gaskets between the wing and the body. So I used 3M tape, so it is pretty darn sticky. Uh, for those of you that didn't see the install and you'd like to see how to remove the stock wing, I'll go ahead and put a link above my head to that video as well as in the description down below in case you're looking to see how to take off your stock wing, which was a bit of a pain. But for this one, what we're gonna use is a little bit of fishing line, which is what I learned from the other video to kind of cut through the 3M tape, otherwise it'll you know, make it a lot easier to lift off. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, and off it comes. Now to do the thing that makes everybody nervous when it comes to installing a wing on a GTR, and that is drilling my trunk. For those of you that watched the CT Carbon install, this is gonna be a much easier job. For those of you that didn't, when I installed the CT Carbon wing, it didn't come with these great little gaskets. It pretty much just came with 3M tape. So what I had to do was put paper down on the trunk and then put the wing on it, measure, measure again, measure again, keep measuring until we were perfectly happy that it was dead center. 
measure again, and then finally drill the holes. That way I knew the wing was perfectly dead center. One of the advantages to this wing is that it comes with this gasket and it works like a perfect template because the mounting points, three of them, are actually from the same mounting points as the stock wing. So the hole's already there. So I can line it up and then this last hole, I know I'll be able to drill perfectly because I have this template. Just as a note, there are a lot of people that when they install this wing, they just rely on the three stock mounting points so they don't have to do, drill their trunk. It's up to you as to whether or not you want to drill your trunk. I obviously have already drilled mine, so it's no big deal for me to put another hole right here. And then that way I know the wing is mounted strong and that way when I do track days, I'm fairly confident it's not gonna fly off at speed. So the cool thing is, like I said, we're just gonna lay this down, line up the three holes, which is great because it's now triangulated and drill the final hole. Now I do have my trunk popped a little bit. That way when I do drill through, I don't have to worry about going all the way through and hitting another part of the body or even that shock. And just like that, we're ready. Do the other side. Time to throw this wing on. All right, here it is, the APR wing. Now, as a little bit tip when it comes to installing these, there are some bolts holding everything together. I'm not gonna turn it upside down, otherwise these might fall off, that are right here. You're gonna wanna loosen these up because it gives a little bit of play on these stands, and it'll make it easier to get into the holes that we've drilled. Uh, the rubber gaskets are right here and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the car. As a note, this is quite a bit heavier than the wing that was just on the car. All right? Yeah, the front end's high. All right, here we go. That one looks like a trailer. Yeah, locking this sucker in, you got a hold of it? Yeah. This is where having someone to help you out would be really nice because I don't have to worry about this sucker trying to uh, fall onto my back window. That's the important tool for your garage, my friend. Yeah. And that's me. That's <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I am the biggest tool there is. Regular washers and lock washers just for added safety. I don't want this sucker to ever come flying off at speed or vibrate free. Yeah, I might want the, I did the bottom one first. I should have done the top one. <laughs> One last thing we're gonna do uh, before we declare this done is put some vinyl dots over the holes we've drilled and the stock hole right here. That way in the unlikely event it actually rains here in California, I don't get water in my trunk. Now don't worry, I will be taking this to a body shop, have the holes professionally filled and repainted, and this trunk should look really, really nice. But as, like I said, a temporary fix, fortunately the car is black, these dots are black, they blend in real nice. As you can see, those black dots definitely blend in really well with the paint. So at a distance, you won't see the holes. And then, like I said, when I get time to go down to a body shop, that'll all get cleaned up. And then the last thing we need to do before we're done is not forget to tighten up these bolts right here. Otherwise, it's gonna be loose. Remember, we loosen these up to make it easier to get this onto the trunk. So there, once we do that, everything's buttoned up and you're done. And there it is, the APR GTC 500 wing installed on the R35 GTR. As you saw, it is actually a pretty easy install. 
even if you have to remove the stock wing, which I'm gonna be honest is a bit of a pain in the ass, but like I said, you can see my other video where I show that. There'll be a link for it in the description down below. I'll put a banner above my head too right now just to make life easy for you if you need to help to uh, uninstall the stock wing. But pretty much this mounts at the stock locations. You can either drill that extra hole like I did or just remove the stud, whatever works best for you. Now, I do think this is a pretty good looking wing. I don't think visually I lost anything by taking off the CT carbon wing. Uh, the wing is a little bit on the long side. It is wider than the body, but you kind of want that because then these end plates will grab the air as you're going around the corner and help you with the aerodynamics of the car. So, like I said, really excited. I can't wait to get this car back out on the track to see how this affects how the car feels going around some of those tight, twisty corners up at Streets of Willow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go and hit that thumbs up button to let me know. It does help the channel out a lot. As I did say at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to see more automotive, particularly GTR and S14 content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on all forms of social media, which include Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. There'll be links for those in the description down below. Now, after watching this video, if you have any questions, you feel there's anything I've missed, or there's even a better way to do this, go ahead and post in the comment section down below. I will respond to you. I thank you all for watching, and until next time, forget everything else, focus on the finish line.